Let, let me read to you um, the third chapter, the first through the sixth verse. It was set for my argument for today. Uh, it says in, in Proverbs 3, starting with verse 1, My son, forget not my own, but let, let thine heart keep my commandment for the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not thou mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about their neck. Write them above the table of thine heart. So shall I find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. All thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. Flowers fade, grass without. But the word of the Lord lives forever. I, I want to uh, tag this particular message entitled, A Look Back. A, a, a look back, a look back. Um, and in and, and dialoguing uh, this particular um, subject this morning, a lot of the men that have attended the men's Bible class, uh, they probably understand where I'm going when, when I mention the subject, a look back. Because theologically, to walk backwards uh, with our text this morning from uh, the sixth verse to the first verse. Uh, in any time, can I teach first? And then, and then if we get a chance to have a hallelujah good time. Um, in any time you deal with Proverbs, Proverbs is a, a short, compact saying, uh, comparison of question that it expresses a principle or observation about human behavior from God's point of view. Now there's, there's a difference between uh, God's point of view of human behavior and, and your point of view of human behavior. Uh, when, when I was, uh, when I was uh, school getting one of my master's degrees and they used to have a class called human performance factors and anytime you, you deal with human performance factors uh, there's always a human element in everything that goes on right. Right. Ma matter of fact machines do not run themselves right. you got to have a human uh, you, you, your house is no good to you unless a human being is in the house. Uh, then this building makes no sense unless some parishioners or members come into the building. You got a beautiful car. It looks good. It drives good. But i never seen a car drive itself. So there has to be some human performance that go on with everything. So anytime you deal with human performance, there's also what they call run human behavior. So sometimes our behavior does not line up with God's behavior. Just, just hold on for a moment. So anytime you read uh, Proverbs, it, it, it was written to instruct God's people on how to live to please Him. I just got through preaching. How to please Him and not please them. Now, guess what? If you look back at your life this year, too many of you spend too much time trying to please some folk that still don't appreciate you today. Wrong side. 
see, what if you spend all of your energy? Let me get some of these men since y'all are. Yeah, yeah. At least one guy do something. I ain't gonna find it. Come on, man. Uh, what if you, you 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 paid as much time as you did giving your money to a woman? Wrong side. This ain't good. I can tell you. This thing lying in the wrong already. <laughs> it ain't coming out right. Because guess what? The average man, if they really tell the truth, and I know y'all can't say that, because you with your folk. But you live the way you live, mainly to impress her, more so than to impress yourself. Because the average man that is in here right now, guess what? You can live in a one room studio. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need but a one room studio with a microwave. You ain't cooking Being in the same room and give you a widescreen TV. In a remote control. In a small cooler. <laughs> Lord, uh, so so you, you live mainly to please her rather than trying to please God. Now, now I need to help you. Can I just take my time? Y'all already shouted at stuff. You know, it, it, it ain't always easy. Because somewhere along the way, you yeah, you you fall off the la la truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of you tomorrow night, tomorrow night, uh, you're going to make so many uh, New Year's resolutions <laughs> that you ain't gonna keep until you get home. <laughs> so, 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 Proverbs deal with what is it that I really need to do to, to please God? Uh, and, 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 and not only do I need to please God, but I'm interested in having a happy and successful life. So I get, I, I just dealt with three things in the introduction. Uh, uh, pleasing God. I, mean, I want a happy life, but I want a successful life. Yeah, right. Now, there's three things that many people cannot really line up to. I mean, pleasing God, then being happy. Uh, then being successful. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, many times we think that being happy, all we need to do is appease, appease our flesh. Come on, man. Come on, Wrong side, go ahead. Yeah. How many of you know that your flesh will get you in trouble? Yes, Don't make me keep it on the corner. Man, your, that, that, that your flesh, your flesh, don't. Y'all are killing me in here this morning, trying to act like you've been holy all year you know. Man, your, your flesh should make you do some stuff, go some places, and, and stay longer than you want to. Your, your, yes, your flesh will. Your, 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 your flesh should make you drink more than water. <laughs> oh, I don't like it when y'all be stuck up. Cup y'all to me, not me, Reverend. You're you probably the main one. <laughs> oh, I mean, that, that, when you're trying to please your flesh rather than please your spirit, that, there's always that warfare that go on with trying to please the flesh and please the spirit. Because, you know, yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. just interject this in, 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 in since I got a long time to preach. Uh, uh, it, it's just like tithing, you know. And you, you, you know, you. The, the spirit will tell you to tie, but the flesh will tell you that's too much. <laughs> so, 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 guess what? When you please God, and the thing that I want to deal with this morning is that you can really avoid some tragedies in your life. Now, 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 one of the things that I've discovered, uh, uh, Brother Brown, as long as I've been preaching, is that there are a lot of folk, they just lack pain. I mean, yeah. their life ain't going to be good, and 
that as they got some pain, I mean, they lack hurt, I mean, you know, and, and the reason why I know that is because you wouldn't keep putting yourself in the same position uh, if, if you didn't like it. I mean, you, 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 you lack, you just lack it when you hurt it. Matter of fact, you, you, you feel needed when you are hurting, I mean, and some folk have a need to feel needed. Uh, you, you, you watch it when you don't give somebody some attention. Uh, they, they act real strange yeah, 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 yeah. when you don't give them some attention. Come on, women, help me here, says y'all. And, uh, and, and man, you, you try not giving her some attention, man. She'll come in and cut the TV off, slam the cabinet, you know, slam the door, flush the toilet, ain't nothing. <laughs> No, no, you mess around and don't give up. No, they, they, they ain't no sleep. Bow your head, do something. I know you can't say what you want to say. But, but don't, don't. I, I tell you, but well, let, let her get her hair cut. And, and, and you didn't notice it. And everybody else noticed it at Christmas dinner. Tell me, girl, your hair looking so good. And, and you tell me, baby, you ain't. You, you ain't noticed my hair. Because she needs some attention. And, and, and folk act real strange psychologically and emotionally when they don't get the kind of attention. And, and I'm dealing with the behavior aspect. So when you're dealing with behavior, your behavior becomes unseemly. Your, your behavior becomes ungodly. So Solomon shows up, who was the third king of Israel. He wrote many of the Proverbs so early in the ring. He, he uh, Solomon did one thing. He prayed for wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 hold up, hold on, wait, somebody. And he, he prayed for wisdom. Now, one of the things we pray for, guess what? We we pray for financial blessings. Anybody here? Yeah. And we, 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 we pray for healing, right? I mean, but how many folk really pray uh, for wisdom? Yeah. Lord have mercy. And, 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 and guess what God did? He prayed for and God gave it to him. Now, 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 guess what? A lot of folk ain't praying for you. Come on this year. You know that wasn't your prayer. I mean, you, 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 you didn't pray for no wisdom this year. I mean, you, you, you prayed for a house, a car, a job, a raise, a man, a woman, a dog, a cat, bird, and everything else. But guess what? Many of you never prayed for wisdom. So guess what? When you don't pray for wisdom and you don't have wisdom, then it's difficult for you to understand what it is that God is trying to talk to you about. Hold on. So, so later in life, uh, so Psalm himself, uh, although he prayed for wisdom, he did not follow the wisdom that God gave him. Oh, 
I want to stop. Come on, son. All right, so, so knowing or teaching moral principles from God's word is not adequate to ensure spiritual life. And there also must be an ongoing fear. Yeah. Now watch this. And, you, and not only is there ongoing fear, but it has also been a dependency on God. Yeah. Yeah. Not the government. Yeah. Not the man. Yeah. But you have to depend on God. Matter of fact, let me help you with something. And to eat. Stop depending on you. Come watch this. Come, come, come. If you sit here depending on you, if it, if it was never for you, you've been a million that long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. None of you babies in here be broke, none of you is depending on you. Because if it was never for you, you would speak a million dollars into existence. But have you not noticed that you didn't have that kind of power so you had no other choice but depend on God? Deacon, as y'all say, man. I'm going to use the devil out the Wisdom is used in Proverbs, meaning means living and, and thinking uh, according to God's truth. Living and thinking according to God's truth. Now, now watch. The only way you can live and think according to God's truth is to know God's word. Come on, come on. So I, that, that's why a whole lot of you babies in here, I don't know how you cannot, you, you cannot afford to miss Bible study. Alright, I'm in the right church. You, you definitely, you, you, you need to, you need to buck dance to some extent. <laughs> you know, I, you know yeah, every now and then I, I got remember to go to this church. They ain't calling it name because they hear this more. Uh, you know, they, they need the club and come straight on to the church. <laughs> they ain't calling it. But at least they can. See, y'all, 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 I can't believe he did. Yes, he did. And, and guess what? Some of y'all just stopped, so ain't no sense y'all did. Man, man, matter of fact, you didn't come straight to church. You just went home and hit a lick of the cross. Look, we should pay this church all the day, all the education in this church. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, engineer. I, long, long time. You know, I, I, you, you got a lot of knowledge, but you don't know how to use the knowledge that you have. Hey, can, can I give you a better example? It, it's like, I got a car, but I don't put gas in. Hello? I mean, you know, I, I got clothes, but I put my t-shirt over my seat. <laughs> well, let, let, me, let me bring some of my young folk in here one second. You, 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 you go to school every day, but you got your pants all the way down. <laughs> can, can I come close to one? You, 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 you got on the low cut thing that you could ever find a day in your life. And 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 and, 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 and you know you a size 14 and got on a size six and you tell my white man to be like
electricity group in here. How many of you called from out of this year and said, what should I do? Why are you asking folk, what should I do when they don't know what they should do? Excuse me, I ain't gonna call you and ask you what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. That's coming here, man. Matter of fact, coming here, but guess what? I don't care what you think. Matter of fact, let me help you with number three. Get over. Because I made up my mind, if I'm gonna have anything, I need to start acknowledging God. Saved, man. They don't know who I am. 